If you've got two many zucchinis in your garden, I'm going to show you three of my favorite zucchini recipes that are cheap and super easy to make. And let's get started with pickled zucchini. Now you can pickle these like you would a dill pickle, but I am going to use some Mexican spices and make Mexican pickled vegetables, and I'm going to put them on tacos. It's going to blow your mind. So let's give it a try. Let's start by making the brine. I'm going to add water and a small amount of vinegar. I I'm also going to add some white sugar and then I'm going to add some salt. You can use kosher salt here or pickling salt, but I wouldn't recommend table salt because table salt will um, make your pickles kind of cloudy and won't be pretty. So let's add some more lemon juice. Now I use a lot more lemon juice than vinegar in this recipe because I really like the brighter flavor of lemon juice in a pickle and I'm not a huge fan of vinegar. So let's stir this all together. And once that's well mixed up, we can put it in the microwave to get boiling. We want this to be boiling when we add it to our pickles. Well, that's boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my zucchini and my tomatoes. So to do that, I am going to use my handy dandy dicer and slicer. I love this thing. It makes quick work of all of this zucchini. So I'm gonna make some quick slices of my zucchini. Let me show you how it works. Oops, I lost a couple of zucchinis. Let's get them back. And there we go. Let's put one in at a time. And it makes all those dices at one time. The great thing is it makes all of your zucchini squares the exact same size and it makes perfect pickles. So you definitely want to get one of these for your chopping. I'm going to also slice some of these. I'm going to use the mandolin for those. I'm not a huge fan of this mandolin, but it does make perfect slices for pickles, so I use it for that. Do you make sure you use the hand guard because it is kind of dangerous. So we're going to add our spices to the jars. We're gonna add a little bit of coriander to each jar and then a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper. Oops, that's a little bit of extra. That's okay, it's gonna be a spicy pickle. So we're gonna go ahead and add in a bay leaf to each jar. And then we're also going to add, and then we're also gonna add our carrots. So let's go ahead and put about a handful of carrots into each jar. I'm using matchstick carrots here because that's what I have on hand, but you could always use diced carrots or um, sliced carrots, whatever you like. And then we'll go ahead and put in our um, onions. I do a roughly chopped onion, half of one in each jar. And then I'm going to I'm going to use a roughly chopped onion, put half of an onion in each jar, and then we can go ahead and add in our zucchinis. So let's go ahead and put as much zucchini as we can in each jar. We need to press it in as best as we can because number one, we want to use up a lot of these zucchinis, but also we all want to have as many pickles as possible. So let's go ahead and press them in. And don't be afraid to press them down tight because um, the juice of the brine will get around everything and it will make a nice pickle. So press them into each jar. Uh, I forgot I was the one to make some sliced pickles. So I had dumped the diced pickles out of this jar and then I'm gonna add sliced back to it. So let me get all of these out. All right, there we go. I think I got them all, oh, one more. And then I will go ahead and add in my sliced pickles or my sliced zucchinis to make pickles. So now we have to press those down in there. They're bigger and they're a little bit harder to press in, but I'm gonna do my very best to press them in. And then we can go ahead and add our brine. So this is boiling hot brine that we're gonna to add to the vegetables and just pour it in super slow. If you pour it in too fast, it's gonna overflow and spill everywhere, but pour it in slow and let it seep down to the bottom so that every bit of those vegetables gets some of this hot pickling brine. Once the jar is filled to the top, you can go ahead and place the lids on those and then you can put them in the refrigerator. Now these are refrigerator pickles, so they don't need any more processing besides this hot liquid. Once you put the lids on, you put them in the fridge, they need about 24 hours and they are ready to go and you can make 
To make the tacos, we are going to use corn tortillas and then some refried beans. You can use canned refried beans or you can use homemade, whichever you have on hand. And then you can add some of these crispy roasted potatoes. I use some taco seasoning and some cumin to make these flavorful crispy potatoes to go in my taco. And then of course we're adding our zucchini pickles on top of that. These are the star of the show. As you can see, I'm almost out. I had to make another batch anyway. On top of that, we're going to add a super simple creamy cilantro sauce that I made with a little bit of soy mayonnaise and some cilantro, some lime juice, and it makes a great sauce for these pickles. Put it on top of that, and that makes a fantastic taco. You're going to want to make these, but before we are going to share one of my very favorite zucchini recipes. It is the zucchini patty from my Kidlicious cookbook. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is shred our zucchini. So to shred the zucchini, you can use a good old fashioned grater, but because I'm shredding so much zucchini today, I am going to use my food processor. I love my Cuisinart food processor. All right, so. To use the food processor, you have to chop the zucchini up into sizes that will fit into this little trap door here. So I'm just going to do my best to guess on what that's going to be. And we are going to shred this up. Now, if I have leftover shredded zucchini, if I shred all this up, I don't need it all for my zucchini patties. I will make a chocolate zucchini cake that is out of this world. It's my mama's. Uh, chocolate zucchini cake. And you are going to love that. So let's see if I have enough zucchini to do that with. All right, there we go. So let's shred our zucchini. Nice thing about this Cuisinart food processor is it is too easy to uh, use and you don't have to worry about hurting yourself with it like you do sometimes. I always grate my finger when I'm using that grater, so. The one thing you have to watch out for is you don't overfill your food processor. So let's see if that needs to empty out. All right, I think it's time to empty this out. Get rid of our extra little pieces. One thing you're going to want to do is get some moisture out of that. So I am going to a little salt on it, and so let's so the moisture will start coming out. Let's grab the salt. I'm gonna put a little salt on this and give it a stir. All right, let's set that off to the side, and we'll do the rest of this zucchini. Oops, perhaps blade, silly. Okay, put the blade back in. And then up top, thing. All right, we made fast work of that zucchini. Okay, so we've got our zucchini chopped or shredded. And two onions, instead of chopping these, I'm gonna just put them right through the food processor. They'll be shredded just like our zucchinis and so they will be super small. Those onion haters that you have at your house won't notice that they're there. So let's go ahead and do this. You can almost put the whole onion in here, I think. Like so. But I need to do two of them, so let's do two. I, I peeled the onion the hard way today. There we go, got it. Split that in half, we'll move this sticker in here. This one. And shred that up real quick. We have our shredded onion ready to go. Let's put our onion in a bowl for later. All right, I need to clean up my space for just a quick minute and then we will mix up our zucchini patties. All right, I think I got our little area cleaned up and we can start making our zucchini patties. So the first thing we need to do, again, is to get some water out of this. I'm going to use my tofu towel to get water out of my zucchini, just like I get water out of my tofu. So I'm just going to lay it out here. And I am going to just spread my zucchini out 
over the towel. That's so modest as you keep isn't it? Alright, let's we'll spread it out and then we'll wrap it up. And just give it a quick. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside while it dries out and I'm going to get all the ingredients together for the zucchini patties. We're going to start with two and a half to three cups of quick oats. And this is three cups, so I'm not going to use the whole thing. It depends on how moist your zucchinis are, how much of this you're going to use. So I'm going to put some of my quick oats in. So the zucchini patty recipe calls for chopped nuts. So while I still have my uh, zucchini, while I still have my food processor, I'm going to chop up my nuts. I typically use cashew nuts in the recipe, but I don't have cashew nuts, and I've used mixed nuts before, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some mixed nuts to this. I'm just going to give it a quick chop. You want it to be chunky, but not too chunky. That looks about right. Okay, now we have our two and a half cups of quick oats in the bowl, along with our cup of mixed nuts, or cashew nuts. You could use walnuts, you could get any kind of nut here you like. These are roasted and salted. Um, you don't have to use roasted and salted nuts, but I do like the flavor. It adds a nice something something to the patties. We have five tablespoons of this McKay's chicken style seasoning. This is the powdered uh, no chicken bouillon. I will put a link in the description box below. For Five. It is a little expensive on Amazon. You can typically get it at health food stores if you usually, so you can look for that. So that's our five tablespoons of chicken style seasoning. We need a teaspoon of salt. There we go. We can taste it as we go. And oops. And then I have some vital wheat gluten. This is pure protein from wheat. And that's going to hold everything together and also add protein to the recipe. I am now adding three tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes. Now this is like, has like a nice cheesy flavor, a savory flavor. If you don't have nutritional yeast, I, I will put a link in the description box below. Um, it's one of those things you're going to want to buy as a new plant-based eater because it's in so many different recipes. It adds so much flavor. So definitely go ahead and buy that one. I'm going to give that a stir and then I'm going to go ahead and add the zucchini and the shredded onions to this. And then the onions and I'm going to add in, I'm going to add in four and a half cups of zucchini. So let's get our zucchini out. dump it into the bowl so we can measure it easier. All right, there we go. I need four and a half cups. So there's one, two, three, four and a half and it looks like we're going to have plenty of zucchini left over from that for that chocolate cake so we'll give that a try here in a few minutes all right so let's mix this together i think i'm going to end up using my hands for this because it'll be much easier to get it done so let's go ahead and mix this up i'm going to make sure the onions get all dispersed so they're not all in one spot I'm going to make sure the seasonings get mixed in and once it's all mixed up we'll see if they hold together. If they don't we'll add some more of the, if they're too wet we'll go ahead and add some more of that uh, quick oats. Okay these look really good. I think they're ready. Let's see how they hold together. Oh yeah they're going to be good. So then you make up your zucchini patties. Let's go ahead and make these into patties and put them on a tray. I like to line my pan with parchment paper because I do not like to have to scrub these metal pans when I'm done. I'm also going to grab a cookie scoop. So you can either make really big patties or medium-sized patties. 
it depends on what you're using them for. So let's make a few of each and let's see which one we like better. So I like to smash them into um, the thingy and then just then I flatten them out like that. This looks like this looks like the perfect size patty for the side dish for our ratatouille. So let's go ahead and make the rest of these. There we go. These are virtually oil-free. They have some fat from the nuts, but that's it. So they're super healthy. They're all vegetables, some whole grains in there. So we're gonna have about a dozen of these large patties. And if you wanted to make the smaller patty, you can get a lot more. But for my purposes tonight, the dozen is gonna be great. I am going to bake this batch and then I'll bake the second batch. Let's put these in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna flip them over and do it again. Here are our finished zucchini patties. If you want this recipe for the ratatouille, I'll put the link in the description box below. It's time to make dessert. We are making a vegan chocolate zucchini cake and it is going to be delicious. So let's start with our sugars. We're going to cream them. We're going to use brown sugar and we're going to use some white sugar. We're going to add to that about a half a stick of butter. But we are using plant but we're using plant butter. It's country crock plant butter that we're using here and we're also using applesauce to replace the oil in the recipe. So let's go ahead and add that. And let's get that creaming. This recipe is super easy to make. It's just all a dump and go. It does not look super creamed, but that's okay. That's because we added the applesauce instead of the oil. So it looks a little different, but I promise you it's gonna taste fantastic. So let's go ahead and add to that our zucchini and our vanilla. We also have some seasonings here, some cinnamon and some salt and some allspice. We have some, we're going to add the baking powder in a minute. We're going to go ahead and add what we use for the egg, which is um, some flaxseed and some aquafaba. A mix of the two eggs replacer it, it makes a better baked good, I think. And then we need to add some milk. That's a vegan buttermilk that I made with almond that I made with almond milk and some silk yogurt and then I'm going to add my cocoa powder and my flour and on top of the flour I'm going to go ahead and add the baking soda. Now we have one ingredient left that's the chocolate chips but we're going to save those for the top that's going to be what we use instead of frosting on this cake we won't have to frost the cake because we're going to have chocolate chips on top which makes it really good and it's like I said, it's super easy to mix we're just going to mix that together and we're going to put it into an 8x8 pan okay I've already sprayed my 8x8 pan I'm going to add my chocolate zucchini cake mix to it We are going to sprinkle it with our chocolate chips. There we go. Sprinkle our chocolate chips evenly on top. And that is going to be one fantastic zucchini dessert. So there you have it. Just put that in the oven for about uh, 30 to 35 minutes. I'm sad because I missed one of my favorite ingredients in the cake, and that is the pecans. So I'm, instead of mixing them in, which I normally would have done, I'm going to put them on top and maybe do a little, you know, mix in, just kind of push them down into there real quick. I'm sure it'll still taste great. And this might even be prettier on top than just having the chocolate chips. There you go. All right, we're gonna put this 
into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Those are my three favorite zucchini recipes, but I still have zucchini left over in my garden. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and see what else I can make with these zucchinis and click that notification bell so you don't miss any recipes. And if you want to try that ratatouille recipe that I talked about, then check this video right here.